Welcome to Plagiarism Resistant Assignments, the third in this summer's Academic Integrity Webinar series. My name is Jennifer Kelly, and today we'll look at some of the assignment characteristics that lend themselves to plagiarism and how you can create assignments that resist, as much as is possible, plagiarism. First, let's define plagiarism. The Council of Writing Program Administrators has defined plagiarism in a way that stresses the deliberate effort of a student to deceive. In an instructional setting, plagiarism occurs when a writer deliberately uses someone else's language, ideas, or other original, not common knowledge, material without acknowledging its source. We'll be using this definition of plagiarism going forward. It distinguishes between the actions of novice writers, what is often called accidental plagiarism, and the purposeful dishonesty of plagiarists. What assignments are generally plagiarized? Essays, research papers, online writing assignments, term papers and final exams? What characteristics do these assignments share? Is the assignment a high-stakes assignment? Is the writing prompt fairly generic? Are the research requirements aligned with student abilities? In their statement of best practices in defining and avoiding plagiarism, the Council of Writing Program Administrators identifies several reasons why students plagiarize, including a fear of failure or fear of taking risks, poor time management skills, viewing the course, assignment, academic writing, or even the consequences of cheating as unimportant, and a sense that generic assignments warrant canned responses. It is worth considering how the design or sequence of your assignments might lend itself to plagiarism. Consider also how easy it is for a student who feels the need to plagiarize, for whatever reason, to do so. Students can download or purchase papers from online sources, easily share papers with classmates and peers, or simply fabricate citations in order to meet assignment requirements. Given the ease with which students can plagiarize, is there any hope of creating a plagiarism-proof assignment? Probably not, but let's look at how we can strive for plagiarism-resistant assignments. In its white paper, the WPA illustrates the shared responsibilities of students, faculty, and administrators in preventing academic plagiarism. Here, we'll simply focus on what you, the faculty member, can do. The WPA recommends incorporating support through individual or group conferences or peer review into course designs, clearly defining plagiarism and its consequences and providing resources for avoiding plagiarism, teaching students the conventions of your discipline and allowing for practice, they are novices after all, engaging students in the iterative and often messy process of writing, including note-taking, drafts, and revisions, openly discussing the challenges and problems that arise during writing and presenting solutions to those problems, discussing suspected instances of plagiarism with students in order to determine if the paper in question is merely inexpertly written or deliberately plagiarized, and finally, reporting any and all possible cases of academic dishonesty. Here at COD, we have a new academic dishonesty reporting tool that you can find linked from Blackboard and from the Inside COD portal. Reporting incidents will help us develop a culture of academic integrity at the college and demonstrate to our students that we take these issues seriously. Now that we understand our responsibilities, let's consider some strategies. In his book, Cheating Lessons, James Lang presents a case study wherein an instructor discusses four ways that she contextualizes her writing prompts, creating assignments that, by design, resist plagiarism. The first context is time placing the writing prompt within the context of current events, conversations, trends, or research. Second is rooting the writing in place, the local community, or even the college itself. Next, contextualizing the writing in the student's personal experiences. And finally, an interdisciplinary context, where students draw connections between your course, other courses, and perhaps co-curricular activities. Other sources, suggest carefully tailoring your assignments so that they are super specific. By using unusual combinations of texts or asking students to reference in-class conversations or Blackboard discussion forums. Another strategy is to provide your students with an authentic audience for their writing. Instead of writing for you as their audience, have your students write actual content for an actual audience that will actually read what they have actually written. You may also wish to consider employing an academic honesty pledge. 
The research of Duke University behavioral economist Dan Ariely has supported the effectiveness of honor pledges. In his 2012 book, The Honest Truth About Dishonesty, How We Lie to Everyone, Especially Ourselves, Ariely argues that most people believe themselves to be honest, honorable people. As a result, when prompted to consider honesty through reminders, like signing a pledge or even recalling the Ten Commandments, cheating behavior stopped. The College of DuPage doesn't have an official academic honesty pledge, but the Academic Integrity Implementation Committee supports the use of the following statement. As a College of DuPage student, I will strive to uphold the college values of integrity, honesty, respect, and responsibility. You may ask your students to sign a contract or type these words into the header of their written assignments. Another strategy to consider is just letting it go. How many of you spend as many hours searching for plagiarism as you do reading and providing feedback on student writing assignments? How often do you cut sentences or paragraphs out of a student paper and paste them into Google searching for a match? How many hours have you spent agonizing over whether or not SafeAssign is an effective tool in preventing plagiarism? Many instructors struggle with these issues and many of them have taken the stance that it's just not worth it. In some cases, professors argue that yes, plagiarism is a problem to be taken seriously, but no, it's not worth obsessing over. Others consider the act of policing for plagiarism an impediment to effective teaching and to student learning. There are plenty, however, who continue to take any academic dishonesty personally. It may be hard to change the way you feel about plagiarism, but perhaps you can avoid encountering these feelings altogether with a well-designed assignment that encourages students to think critically, engage with your subject matter, and produce original creative content. Let's look at three outside-of-the-box assignments you can adopt or adapt for use in your own classes. The first example is a bit meta, a plagiarism-resistant research project on plagiarism. Jeff Karen described the writing assignment he designed out of frustration with the ineffective approaches that instructors frequently take to prevent plagiarism. Instead of warning his students away from paper mills, Karen asks his students to download a free essay from one of these online sources. Students then evaluate these free essays and deliver a presentation on their findings, along with low-stakes research they have done on academic plagiarism. Karen writes that this assignment builds, one, a direct awareness of plagiarism and its responses, two, research skills since students immediately follow and analyze reliable web sources, and three, presentation skills, all without creating a hostile or adversarial atmosphere. Another alternative assignment that is popular with COD librarians is the unresearch paper. A senior assistant librarian at the University of Albany, Allison Hosier developed her unresearch paper assignment in part to encourage critical thinking around source selection and help students draw connections between the sources they select and the role they play in the research process. In this three-part assignment, students write a research-free essay on a topic of interest and then create an annotated bibliography composed of sources that might add something to their writing. A supporting source, a source of new information, a dissenting source, and a quote from a source that highlights something from the essay. Finally, students reflect on the process, responding to prompts such as, what level of expertise did you feel when you wrote the original essay? What did you learn about your topic during the research process? And did that change your understanding? What further research would you do? And would you recommend your original essay as a source of information on this topic? A final example comes from right here at COD in the form of English faculty member Tim Henningsen's Writing Wikipedia assignment. Straightforward in its concept, I highly recommend that you read Tim's article, The Slow Necessary Death of the Research Paper, for insight into why he developed the assignment and the results he sees from his students in terms of writing engagement, quality, and persistence. Ultimately, all of these examples and best practices get to the final requirement of creating plagiarism-resistant assignments. Improve the design and sequence of your writing assignments. The WPA provides seven recommendations for improving assignments, and I recommend that you visit the website to read these in full. Thank you for viewing this recorded webinar. I hope you will join us for the final session of the series, Creating a Classroom Culture of Integrity. For additional resources, visit the library's website, cod.edu library, and click Faculty and Staff. There you will find a link to our plagiarism prevention and academic integrity resources.